Thank you. Thanks. Good morning, Huyamore Moloeni. Welcome to the 2023 online open day at Stellenbosch University, the best university. We are from the Faculty of Science. When I say we, I mean me and my colleagues. Uh, we are from the Faculty of Science and this session is specifically about the Faculty of Science. So. Before I continue, I just want to let you know who <laughs> am I. My name is Maambele Kosa, and I am responsible for the undergraduate students' marketing and recruitment in the Faculty of Science. I am joined by, I'll start from my far left, Professor Peter Mellon. Hi. Professor Peter Mellon, he is the head of department in the chemistry department. Did I get it correct? You did. <laughs> yes. And we also have Rhys Roberts. Rhys is our current student. He is studying BSc in Human Life Sciences, correct? Correct. And he is not only our student. He is also the vice chairperson for the Natural Sciences Students Committee. He will talk about that some other time. When you meet him, maybe next year. <laughs> All right. I am also with Ms. Atika Valentine. She is the academic coordinator for student affairs. Oh, she is the coordinator for academic and student affairs. I got it right. <laughs> Clap hands for me. Thank you so much. So as we have said, or as you have seen, there is a WhatsApp line which you can use to ask us questions. You can just quickly drop us a WhatsApp message to know anything about admission kind of related questions in the Faculty of Science. However, I see that we already have um, a few questions. So I will at some point look at my phone because this is the phones that you guys are sending questions in. So when you see me looking down, it's because I'm reading your question. So please start sending through your questions if you haven't. All right. Oh, the questions are pull, like they're popping, they're, they're pulling through. I'm just <laughs> waiting for yours. I'm going to start with my question, actually, before I start with your questions. Riz, we have our prospective uh, students who are excited and interested to join Stellenbosch University. Perhaps I can ask you, why did you choose Stellenbosch University? Um, so I'm from Durban and I was advised by many of my teachers um, and kind of guidance counselors that my future in science would be best um, taken at the university. So yeah, the admission was really quick. I got in and accepted and yeah, that's why I decided to come here. Do you think it was the best choice? Definitely. In my third year, um, I've had very good experiences here. All right, wonderful. And then if I can follow up on that question, Rhys, I know you're just like, Ambi, why did you start with me? But uh, they need to know. I mean, you're a current student now, so they can definitely trust you more than yes. some of us. Um, Rhys, maybe tell us, why did you decide to study science of everything that you could have decided to study? I think I had a fascination with research, um, especially in the biological field, hence why I chose human life science. And at science, at, sorry, at Stellenbosch University, there's lots of different labs and very, lots of niches of specific, you know, science aspects. So I think I wanted to come here just because, um, you know, there's a wide variety of what I could have studied. Wonderful, wonderful. All right, so here now I start with your questions. I don't know whose question is this, but I see there is a Michelle. Thank you for sending your question, Michelle. You are the first one to send this question. Miss Valentine, Michelle is asking, if I apply to study science at Stellenbosch University with my grade 11 marks, however, I do not think I meet the minimum admission requirement. Can I still improve my marks and be accepted next year? Can we still accept this person? Okay, so for the Faculty of Science, the minimum admission cr criteria is the one that will get you onto the selection list, which means that if you're not meeting the minimum admission criteria, you will be marked unsuccessful even before the Faculty of Science will see your application. But you must check all in the university prospectus you check other programs where you meet the requirements and you add that program in science on your application and you put something else where you meet the criteria you put that um, program first and then when you improve your marks at the end with your final school leaving results if you improve your results you can submit a request for us for reconsideration 
and then we will look at your improved marks to see if we can, uh, can consider you then. So it's not a dead end, you still have space to improve your marks. Okay, all right. Thank you so much for that. Uh, I'm going to follow up on your behalf. You know, I've got you as usual. <laughs> Miss Valentine, are you saying that if my grade 11 results, I'm asking you now as a prospective student, if the grade 11 results are not that great, uh, it's not a dead end. But is that reconsideration something that is guaranteed? Yes. So in our policy, in our implementation plan, we have four phases of selection and that first phase is like for our outstanding um, applicants with averages above 80 percent and then we look at phase four where there's four categories that we consider and someone with improved marks can submit a request for reconsideration so it's a definite thing that you can the important thing is that one you should have applied to the University of Stellenbosch. You should have at least a conditional offer from some other faculty or some other program um, to be considered. So if you were unsuccessful from the start that we did not see your application, then unfortunately we will not consider that. So it is very important that you carefully select the, app, the programs on your application. Thank you so much. So you heard that. I see there's another question from Theonis. I hope I pronounced your name correctly. If I didn't, I am really sorry. The question says, how many students are accepted for b dead Psi? So it's a matter of how many students. Perhaps we can just highlight that in the Faculty of Science, we accept about 700 new students at the beginning of the year. Or 750, <laughs> by favor. Guys, Listen, I've got you. But now, Miss Valentine, let's let's talk about this. Out of the seven hundred and fifty students that we, we accept or we have spaces for seven hundred and fifty new students, how many applications does the science faculty receive? On average, we can look at the past five years just to give you an idea of where do we get the seven hundred and fifty new students. Yeah, so to put this into perspective, but you you mustn't be scared about these numbers now. So we get 12,500 of applicants that meet our criteria. And from that 12,500, we have to get to 750. So from the 12,000, we issue 7,500 conditional offers. And then if you accept that offer, then you meet with your final grade 12 results, you meet our criteria, and then you can come and register with us. So from the 12,000, we issue 7,500 conditional offers, and then only 3,500 of, of you accept that offer. And from that 3,500, around about 1,500 um, meet the criteria to get a final offer, and eventually 700 to 800 register for our programs. Thank you so much. So I see you all are sending your questions and I just want to highlight that should we not get to your question, please do not stress. We can still answer your questions out of this session via WhatsApp or you can also check on the online um, Open Day website where we have populated so much information, be it videos, be it uh, frequently asked questions because some of the questions that you are sending, they are already there or the answers are already online. So do not stress about it, but we'll try to get to as many as possible. So basically, from what Ms. Valentine explained now, uh, just remember, complete your application and complete it on time. After completing your application, also make sure that you do accept the offer. You will see the process of how you apply and how you accept the offer if you spend time on this site as well. So I'm going to now check one question. All right. There's one question that says, Yes, I want to study BSc in physics. This one comes from Peter. Yeah. Oh, Peter. Okay. Well, not from me. Not, not from you, <laughs> but another Peter. Peter says, I want to study BSc in physics. However, why do I need to also have mathematics marks? Or basically, I think this question is, what is the importance of having mathematics and physical sciences for, 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 for you to study science at Stellenbosch University? Prof, can yeah, you take that? Certainly, thank you, Ambi. I think the easiest way to, to answer that is to say, what is the goal of doing a BSc degree? And of course, uh, we need people who know things, but more importantly, we need people who can 
apply skills and do things so it's not just knowing things it's being able to do things and and this is important uh, from a uh, from, from the point of view of being able to do things you need to have the tools that allow you to do it and I think one of the analogies that is often given is uh, you cannot write a novel in English if you don't understand the rules of the language and uh, the vocabulary uh, and fundamentally the things like mathematics chemistry physics are the the basic Basic sciences uh, on which everything uh, depends. So I, I, I think that 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 is really an important thing to keep in mind. We don't construct programs just to give you something to do, <laughs> even if it's not what you came to study purposely at Stellenbosch University. It's actually there for a reason, because in order to be a, a, a molecular biologist, you have to understand the basics of the mathematics to describe that. You have to understand the basics of how and why molecules interact. So I think that's really yeah. uh, the important point to, to keep in mind. Thank you so much. So basically, if I can summarize what Prof just said now, those two subjects or the three, if you're doing physics plus chemistry, they help you think logically and analytical. And those are the kind of students that we need to study, to explore and to discover science at Stellenbosch University. All right. Hi, Nawaz here. Shout out, Nawaz. Did I pronounce your name correct? If not, sorry. But the question says, can we apply with grade 12 first term marks instead of grade 11? I can take this one quickly now as, no. You need to apply with your final grade 11 results. I hope that's good enough for you. <laughs> Submit your application. <laughs> All right. So now there's another question here that says, I I'm going to check your name as well. Hi. Please explain the main difference between biodiversity and ecology and conservation ecology, as the degrees are in two different faculties. Thanks. This is what, Fitzke? Sorry if it's not correct, but that's the question. Ms. Valentine, do you want to take it? Yeah, sure. Um, so the biodiversity and ecology, you're absolutely right. It is offered by the Faculty of Science, and it is a three-year program. Um, and the conservation ecology is offered by um, the Faculty of Agri-Sciences and that's a four-year program. So that's one big difference in it. Um, in the, the biodiversity program in 2023 um, underwent some changes, a program review, and we are now giving people an option um, where um, um, physics in first year is not a compulsory module anymore and the focus is more on the botany, zoology, ecology and biodiversity um, as such. Um, there are similarities between the programs and what is offered in terms of the, of the modules but that difference in study period is, is very significant. Thank you so much. Hi, Yunin. I see you sent us a message and you deleted it, but I just want to say shout out. <laughs> we saw your message. You can send another one just in case that question was answered already. So, okay, there's another question here, but before I take it, I just want to ask my own question, of course, on your behalf. This question I will direct it to Prof. Mellon. You are a professor at Stellenbosch University, okay, professor of chemistry. The big question right now is, why do you think the professors or the lecturers here at Stellenbosch University in the Faculty of Science are the best? <laughs> I mean, we know that you are the best. I know that you are so, the best, but I want you to yeah. tell them that they will be in good hands. Uh, sure. I, I think that's a, a very uh, interesting <laughs> question because it's true. Uh, one, one of the things I think that is important to realise is that uh, if you do come to Stellenbosch University and the science faculty, that everybody who you come across in terms of teaching are themselves mm -hmm. a researcher, developing new ideas, uh, doing research at the cutting edge uh, of their respective fields. So I think that is one of the, the, the differences potentially uh, with, with uh, coming to Stellenbosch University is that all the people who you teach you are themselves an expert and internationally uh, uh, mm. recognised as being people who are experts in the field. So I think that, that that's an important difference, uh, is that it's not just people telling you things mm. from a textbook, it's people who are themselves generating mm. new knowledge and, and doing research. And I think that's what makes it an exciting place to, to be. 
Wow, wonderful. I'm sure you had that. I'm not going to add anything to that. I'm not going to summarize that. You got that. <laughs> Miss Valentine, do you want to add something maybe about the support that we offer in the university? Yeah, sure. All right. so, so that's very significant, actually. And apart from having good academics, we also offer, or that academics offer good support in terms of the teaching and your learning and also in terms of other support, psychosocial support that the university offer, uh, disability support and on that note of disability it's important when you complete your application that you complete the disability form so that we can set up a meeting with you beforehand and identify your special needs and your needs before you can be selected. So that's, that's very significant for us because we don't want you to come here and then we cannot fully support you. And that's not only physical and mental disability but also all applicants that have special concessions in school to complete the disability form so that we are aware of you and your special needs. Thank you so much for actually adding that because in short, if you have special needs, you are not limited to study science. You can contact us for more information if you think you will need specific information that you cannot find on the website. There are so many questions. I see a lot of you are typing and I, I promise we'll try to get to as many as possible. So now, okay, this is a follow-up question from um, someone. Again, that says, where do I submit the grade 12 term results? Can you answer that in short? Okay. Once the grade 12 results have been improved, do they need to send them? So that means they, they're in possession already of a grade 12 um, certificate. And they, in 2023, they are rewriting um, either in May, June or at the end of the year. So they will still have to submit the application um, um, before end of July. They submit with, with that results and um, the, the final school leaving results and they indicate that they are currently repeating grade 12. So that's very important because if we indicate that, we give you waitlist status until you provide your full results or your upgraded results and then we will reconsider you. So it's very important that you um, provide to us um, the category and that category is improving grade 12. Thank you so much. We have roughly about 13 minutes left. Let's see if we can answer at least the 13 questions within 13 minutes. <laughs> All right. So there's a question here from Liz Marie. Shout out. Hey, we cannot wait to have you at Salambush University, the best university once again. So she is asking if I want to become a math teacher, will the course in applied mathematics be the way to go? Miss Valentine, did she shock you with that question? <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. So in <clears throat> mathematical sciences and in most of the BSc programs that we offer, we have a double major. So you have a first major and a second major. And if you want to teach mathematics, it means that you will complete your BSc degree. You're in applied mathematics focal area. Applied mathematics will be one of your majors. And you select then mathematics as a second major and that mathematics you do in first year second year and third year but up to second year will be sufficient for you to go and complete the postgraduate certificate in education and then teach in high school in, in high school Thank you, Liz Marie. I hope you are answered. Riz, let's get to you just a bit. I know you have a lot of questions and we'll get to all of them. Riz, someone is asking again, why should I choose Stellenbosch University? You've already answered that. But I just want you to share in five seconds, what are your most favorite spots on campus? <laughs> so there's a place called the Nielsi, which is a hot spot of coffee, ice cream, a place with waffles open 24-7, <laughs> awesome study spots for very, very late nights, I'd say. Okay, so Rhys loved the Nelsie, and on top of that, the Nelsie have got this, most of the South African banks, there's different food, there's a lot of things that you can get there. So you don't love Naha or the library? I'm concerned. <clears throat> <laughs> Me too, actually, that, that was my first response. But yes, we have things like the Naha, which is for uh, science students, open 24-7, um, with computer labs and everything that you need as well as the library 
Um, yeah, that is another very important part of the university. <laughs> That's why I'm here. <laughs> okay, I can like I picked it up that Reese actually is not a big fan of the library, but listen, our <laughs> library is so cool. It's underground. You'll see it when you get here. If you've been here before, you probably know about it. And as a student at Salombos University, you have access to all these great facilities that we have on campus. So now here's another question. Good day. If my son wants to apply for general computer science mm. and want to choose music technology as an elective module how would he know what modules will or will not clash with the timetables and this is a question from Yunin. thank you for rewriting your question after you deleted the first text <laughs> shout out may i answer yes okay so um in the first year modules not necessarily clash so clashes comes in when you are repeating modules and you're doing first year modules and second year modules and then you have clashes so if you take music technology, you get approval from the music department to follow that particular module. Um, and then within computer science, you also um, have to select more electives because the music technology will only be 12 um, credits and you need like 96 credit of electives in the computer science um, program. So you, it, it won't clash in the first year, but if you intend to go to second year and repeat modules, then you might have a problem. Wow. All right. So you got that. Thank you so much. Prof. Mellon, I mean, you are a professor at Salombosh University. I want to believe you studied, you did your BSc, you did your honors, you did your master's, you did your, your, your doctorate, you did your everything else that you did for you to become a professor in chemistry at Stellenbosch University. The big question now is, what, what is the difference that you've actually noticed? This is my question to you of course, for them. What's the big difference that you noticed from the learners that come from high school into the university in terms of challenges? What kind of challenges do they experience and how can they better prepare for them? Yeah. I think, uh, I think uh, as everybody probably knows, it's it said quite often, there is a distinct jump mm -hmm. going from high school to, to university. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and I think uh, that that's an important thing to realize that uh, university is different yes. <laughs> to what you're doing uh, at high school uh, in the sense that um, uh, you've got to take a lot of responsibility and your own initiative. There's nobody sitting with a stick saying you must submit your homework and if you mm -hmm. don't. Uh, so so I think those are, are some of the, 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 the challenges that our students have is to realise uh, that, that actually university is a great opportunity it's a great opportunity to learn but it does require you to take responsibility uh, for for that uh, learning and i think that 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 for me is uh, one of the, the the most important things and then also just Amby, on that note uh, it, it's not something you should be scared of you would not Thank be admitted you. to the university if we didn't think you could do this yes. uh, and in fact uh, we we have many support programs within the science faculty within the university to support you both academically but also in other issues that that um, uh, are, are uh, potentially hurdles to you being successful I mean at the end of the day we need you and want you to be successful uh, and that's why uh, we have all of these support structures so it is a jump it is different but it's not something to be scared of it's possible uh, it, 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 it's something that that we know uh, and as I say we don't admit you if you don't, if we didn't think you'd be successful <laughs> thank you so much professor so basically in short the fact that you if you get admission to Salomboch University is because you show the potential to be a great science student that's why we admitted you all you need to do is to make sure that you are not scared but you are responsible for you to make use of the opportunity that you get in this university a place where who you become is just merely the sum of all the chances that you will take from now going onwards thank you i think that was great that was a great line did you see that <laughs> but thank you so much so here now we have uh, uh, another question um this gamhello who is asking shout out gamhello what can i do to apply for the edp program in the science faculty <laughs> so from 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 this year from next year onward it will be the extended curriculum program program so not edp but ECP for, for 2024. And for now, you cannot apply for, for EDP programs because you have to apply for mainstream programs. You will have to get conditional offer and you will have to accept that offer. 
And then if your final grade 12 results are not meeting the requirements to register, then you can request admission to an uh, EDP program. So only after your results are available and you're not meeting the requirements to register, then you can apply. Thank you so much. With six minutes left, basically you cannot apply for the extended degree program as previously known, but now the extended what? Curriculum program. Extended curriculum program. You cannot apply for it. So as you prepare to start applying, you know that you cannot find it on our system to say, okay, I'm going to select this one. But you can only do so once you receive your grade 12 results. And also you can read more information about it on our online site. All right. Another question I'm going to take. There is a, wait, wait, wait. there is Jeromeine here who is asking... Uh, wait, I lost the I lost the question as expected. Okay, Jermaine is asking, do I need to write the NBT for me to study a BSc in chemistry? Do they need to write the NBT test? No. The NBT? No. So okay. for application in science program, no NBTs are required. Thank you so much. So you do not need to write the NBT or the National Benchmark Test. Thank you. Another question. I'm just going to scroll and choose any that I find. Sorry if I do not answer your question. <laughs> oh, my word. Okay. This one has been answered. If you ask the question that has been answered, I'm just going to blue tick you. You can watch this later on. It's, it's going to stay on for the whole year. All right. Guys, your questions are too many. Now I can't see which one I haven't answered. <laughs> if I am a few months away from the minimum in grade 11, can I still apply? We have already answered this. Uh, so the answer is yes, you can apply, but make sure you improve. My question for today is, We've already answered the grade 11. Okay, I think I'm going to start asking my own questions, which I think we haven't answered for you guys. Ah, let's go, let's go. Reese, this one is also for you. Why did you decide to join the Natural Science Student Committee? I mean, you are a student full-time, but then you are also the vice chairperson of the Science Student Committee. Why did you decide to do that, and how is it helping you become a better student? I think my decision to go into leadership at the university was purely from school because I feel like once from high school to university you have a lot of freedom. However, I enjoyed the responsibility <clears throat> sorry, I had in school um, in leadership roles. So I wanted to have a better say, like particularly in the science faculty because I, I felt that I could have more input mm -hmm. um, in terms of um, what I can get back from lecturers people I meet through doing the Natural Science Committee, like I said on the Academic Affairs Council, I get lots of input from all, all, all over the university. So I think just to gauge more and get more out of the university was why I applied for the NSC. Thank you so much, Rizzi. So basically, as a student at Stellenbosch University, you also get other opportunities to actually become the better version of yourself. You know, you will come to university, we prepare you to go out there and flourish. And such opportunities makes you a better student, but also prepares you for the future. There's many more that you can actually become part of, even outside of the Faculty of Science. So we're waiting for you. Mm -hmm. There's another question here. I think, Prof. Mellon, I, will, I would like to give this question to you. There is um, Susan or Susan, Susan or Susan, sorry if I pronounce <laughs> your name incorrectly, but Susan is asking, what is the best science degree to study in 2024? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I just hope he well, doesn't say it's chemistry I was because just going to say, I mean, you're asking me as a professor of chemistry <laughs> what the best degree is. Uh, so I think, uh, first of all, there is no bad choice here. And I think that, that, that's an important point, is that the, 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 the first correct decision is to come to Stellenbosch University to do a BSc uh, degree. In terms of the best degree to do, that depends. Uh, I mean, it's not a simple answer in terms of um, mm -hmm. um, it depends what you want to do. Yes. Uh, I think uh, sometimes uh, uh, it's difficult to make that choice at high school because uh, when you reach university, you really uh, realise that your preconceptions of what you thought chemistry mm -hmm. was or what you thought something was is not necessarily the case so I think um, I think the 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 uh, the uh, the point is do 
come to Stellenbosch University, uh, uh, do your first year. There is some uh, uh, some possibilities to change programs in your second year as you learn uh, and so forth. So I, I think that, that there is no such thing as the best, but I will plug for chemistry. I'm a chemist, so the best <laughs> degree you can do is a chemistry degree in a BSc. Thank you so much. So the best degree is the one that you want to enroll in, or it's the one that can actually enable you to become a better problem solver in any problem that you're interested in solving guys we have less than 33 seconds if not mistaken left but i just want to say from us in the faculty of science thank you so much for joining us we are going to continue answering your questions and please do spend time on that website because you will get a lot of answers there do apply on time and make sure that you select three different programs not one program with three different focal areas because I'll explain later when we meet next year why not. Anyway, thank you so much. Enjoy your day and stay tuned for the other sessions that are about to come from other faculties. Asante sana. That means thank you in Swahili. Bye. 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 <laughs>